Hi guys, D Washington 607 here, back again with another video. Um, I just want to say, um, guys, since I've filmed my first video, um, I've gotten a lot of support and stuff, and people welcome me back, so I really do appreciate it. It's really nice and stuff. So, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, um, show some stuff that I was listening to over the weekend, but I'm going to throw a little twist at the end there. So first, over the weekend, I picked this up, got familiar with this, Peter Broxman, The Fat Is Gone. Peter Broxman, of course, you guys know, is a fantastic um, saxophone player and stuff. This is a disc that was made in 2007. I'm not, you can see the rest of the guys playing on there. And this is just straight ahead, blow your mind, smack you in the face, avant-garde, free jazz. It's just, it just keeps going and never stops. And if you can see, even though it's only three tracks, you can see how long. There's like one track here, it's almost like 30 minutes, 22 minutes, over an hour and stuff. And Peter Broxman is like sick, the way he plays. But it's just amazing what this man can do at his age and stuff. There's a nice picture here that I like. Yeah, you can see the picture of the guys there looking all badass and stuff, you know. But definitely, if you don't have any Peter Broxman, you know, I guess it is an acquired taste, you know, because Peter gets crazy and stuff. But I can highly recommend this more, Peter Broxman. The fat is gone. Very good. Up next, this is Willie Nelson. This is the CD to all the girls. And what it is, it's Willie Nelson doing duets with all women. There's nothing but him and women. But the lineup on this thing is really unbelievable. Um, who does he have here? Dolly Parton, Miranda Lambert, The Secret Sisters, Roseanne Cash, Sheryl Crow, Loretta Lynn, Wyoni Judd, Alison Krauss, Mavis Staples, Nora Jones, Emmylou Harris, Brandi Carlisle, and the list just goes on and on. Just an amazing, amazing, amazing CD. Willie, and Willie still has it. Willie still has it, so definitely. Willie Nelson, to all the girls. I think that's a reference to um, the one he did with um, Julio Iglesias, to all the girls I've loved before. Up next, I've played this a few times, but I keep going back to it. This is piano player Carla, B um, Carla Blay, Andy Shepard, and Steve Swallow. This is called Trios. Fantastic, fantastic playing. I love Carla Blay. She's one of my most favorite piano players and composers. This is a fantastic CD on the ECM label. I think it came out 2013 and stuff. And Andy Shepard on tenor soprano saxophone and Steve Swallow on bass is just beautiful. Every, there's not a bad track on here, so if you guys love Carla Blay, you should definitely have this in your collection. Carla Blay, Andy Shepard and Steve Swallow, trios, beautiful stuff. Up next, getting a little bluesy, uh, Tedeschi Trucks Band, of course that's Susan Tedeschi and Derek Trucks. This is their um, latest release, Made Up Mine, nice bluesy rock. Reminds you a little bit of the Young Brothers there, but real soulful with Susan having that nice soulful voice that she has playing guitar. You can see like the nice picture of him there. Yeah, but definitely I, 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 I love this record. I love her voice and I love the Derek's playing. They're just really good together. I remember when I went to went to pick this up and they were handing out this poster here. I don't know if you guys you can see the poster there, a nice poster. Maybe I'll get a frame for that and stuff, you know. So that's definitely to Destiny Trucks band made up mine. Get into a little vocals here. This is singer Gretchen Pralato. This is live in New York City. You can see it's a CD DVD. I actually was at this concert a friend of mine took me and she was amazing. I love her voice and I like the way she kind of does like improvisation of the songs especially when she's doing like Herbie Hancock's Butterfly. It was amazing to see her do that just add these words and lyrics to it and stuff and then she does um, even um, all that I can say the Lauryn Hill song and stuff and she does holding back the years that it's just from sim um, Simply Red just ridiculous so good. Juju but it's just really good. And the thing I like about Gretchen is that I remember when she was doing, was it the Butterfly song? She does this thing with her hands. She's like clapping her hands and singing, like getting the band to stop while she does this thing with her hands. But definitely one of the best singers out there, Gretchen Parlotta, live in New York City. And here's another singer that I like. This is Gregory Porter, Liquid Spirit. I love Gregory Porter's voice. 
and this is his trademark. He always wears that hat. He never takes that hat off and stuff. He has a real kind of real like soulful, jazzy voice and stuff. And and then sometimes he get a real like real low when he's singing and stuff. But he has a great he has a great voice and stuff. I've seen him live a couple of times. Fan fan fantastic. Uh, and I and I love all these songs. Every there's there's not a bad song on here and stuff. One of my favorites is this one called Musical Genocide. That's, I was like, hmm, interesting for the VC. Musical Genocide. So definitely, Greg Reporter, Liquid Spirits. And this one, I didn't even know I had this, because, like, guys, I have to be honest with you, I had so much stuff digging through this stuff, and I had no end in that. I didn't realize how much stuff I had. I noticed I've had a lot of doubles, so if I go through them again, if I find some doubles, I may, I may send those to somebody if I, you know, find them again. This one here, this is... Bob James, David Sandboard, Quartet, Quartet Humane. Um, when was this released? I think it was released in 2013 or 14. The thing I like about Sandborn is that him and James would play everything because they had double vision. And you can see a picture of David, David right there. Days. I don't think that's Steve Gadd. You know, yeah, yeah, I think it's Steve Gadd. Yeah, Steve Gadd and, and James James. And it's like, you know, it's like it's some good jazz and stuff. It's good jazz. Some of it is like, I um, think there's only one like traditional song. Which one is? I forgot which one it was. But yeah, My Old Flame. But everything else is just original stuff written by David and James. I really like it and, and stuff. So, Bob James, David Sanborn, Quartet, you mind? Now this, I'm gonna throw a little twist in here at the end because uh, you guys also know I'm in the Blu-ray DVD community. I finally got a chance to watch this movie. I've had it in plastic since last year. I just watched it. This 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 movie called Blue is the Warmest Color. I'm not going to try and pronounce the names of the actresses. Mostly, it's about um. You can see their names. This is uh, this is uh, this is Adele right here, and this is Leah, the actress's name. She 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 actually uses her real first name in the movie. It's about this relationship between these two. Um, she's like a painter. She's like a high school student, just about graduate high school, and they have this very intense, passionate um, relationship affair. And yes, there are sex scenes in it, so let's get that out. Uh, let's get that out the way. But it's more than that. It's about the the sexual awakening about um, Adela's character and finding out who she is, what she really wants to do with her life, you know. And, and and the intensity in the relationship is this what she really wants, you know, and it's really it's 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 just fantastic and this is on the Criterion Collection, one of the best. But it's but like I said, it's all like I said, it may be, you know, about you know, you're thinking about the two women, but it's mostly about the you know, I guess you can say like the romance, what goes into the romance, what makes it go. So definitely, so if you guys could like, I don't know, order it or just take a look at it. It's very good. Blue is the warmest color. It was very good. And then lastly, but I should say, if you ever think, I watched a couple of concert videos that I had that I finally watched. First, this is Joni Mitchell's Shadows and Light. This is a concert she did, I think she did in 1979. But I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me just... It's fantastic, but 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 the thing that gets me is the musicians on here. There are Persuasions, Pat Metheny, Jocko Pistorius, Don Elias, Michael Brecker, and Lyle Mays. That is a sick. That is a sick group, and it is so good. I like. I actually played it twice. I played it twice, and stuff. And she does so many good songs. Coyote, Free Man in Paris, Goodbye Porcupine Hat. And there's a thing here that says Jocko solo. That Jock Pastor does this solo thing with these two original pieces made. Ridiculous, ridiculous, so good. I was like, Jocko, what you would be doing if you were still alive, and stuff. And um, yeah, and then raised on robbery. Oh, and I, and I like when she does. Why does fools fall in love with the persuasions? But definitely, guys, Joni Mitchell, Shadows and Light. Gotta definitely hook that up. Last one. This is one I looked at. Tori Amos, Live in Monroe, in Monroe, nineteen ninety one and nineteen ninety two. She came, um, this is, I think, 91, that's just when Little Earthquakes have been released, and she pretty much does the whole entire, you know, album and stuff, but then she goes back in 1992, and also, she does a great version of Led Zeppelin's Thank You, and then this sick version of Smell Like, Smells Like Teen Spirit, the Nirvana song, crazy. The thing that was funny about this, I think it was during 1992, when she was first doing Little Earthquakes, 
I guess some people were talking and then she stops like she's like two minutes into the song stops looks at the people and said said did you guys come here to talk or did you come here to listen to music I'm sure you paid a lot of money to get in here you know people like cheering her on and stuff saying you know people here listen to music not to you know hear you speak and stuff so but but it's definitely good Tori is like mm, I love Tori I love this woman and it's really good so you guys definitely should pick this up Tori Amos and live in Monterey 91 and 92 so yes definitely so guys that's it another video i made too yay so guys you know please comment and like that video if you like and and um thank you guys for your time and watching my videos i love you all peace take care